it's time once again to showcase another player. This time a six foot three shooting guard with scoring on the brain. 2010 throwback Monta Ellis. Whatever your excuse is, I am not buying it. You are awesome and I am Jay Diesel. The 2010 throwback Monta Ellis review is finally here, chaps. We've got him in this amazing small ball lineup featuring supremacy LeBron James. He's got great speed, great dribbling, and he's got great shooting stats as well. Also, we're gonna take a look at some of the hidden stats. You can see them on screen right now. Compliments of NBAlive.gg. Definitely a great site to check out if you want to know the full breakdown of your players and know the do's and don'ts before you hit the court. So guys, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. If you go on to enjoy the video, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Let's see if we can smash 30 likes on this video. I would definitely appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's dive into it. All right, chaps, let's dive into the gameplay. Monta Ellis taking and making that first three pointer. That's what we're talking about. 82 rated three. We really need to see how consistent this guy is. We get the rebound off the LeBron James miss. We're trying to find Ellis. There he is. He's coming down the court. He's got way too much space. Way too much space. He knocks down his second three-pointer of the contest. Six points of the night already. Curry with the steal. We're looking for Monta Ellis. Where is this man? We're going to find him finally in the corner. He's got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. What can he do with it, though? He's got some defense on him. Kicks it out the Weber. Gets it back. Has the one-on-one. -on -one, pulls the shot. And it's going to go down. That's what we need. Eight points already for Monta Ellis. Shooting perfect on the night already but a perfect a perfect shooter is what i expect this man to be ellis gotten the ball now he's on lebron james and he's gonna fade away on him as well and he's gonna knock it down his fadeaway is absolutely amazing as spud webb is gonna get in on a three-point game and make it a seven-point lead now for us ellis spinning winning he's gonna fade he's gonna knock it down again i'm telling you Fadeaways are definitely a must with Monta Ellis. Not only do they look great, it's gonna go in almost every single time. He's got a wide open three again and he's gonna miss this one. Finally missing his first three, but that's all right. He's two for three so far. Shaquille O'Neal with the ball, kicks it over to Kawhi. Back to LeBron, but no, it's tipped and stolen by LeBron. Only five seconds left, and you know we have supremacy LeBron James. I'm sorry, Monta, I forgive me. We have to do it at least once, and he's gonna knock it down, of course. That buzzer beater special ability is so fun to use. Just running to the back of the court and launching it, and LeBron's gonna make it every single time it's absolutely amazing this game here we're working on getting to the paint and look at that against 92 trophy master shaquille o'neal monta gets it down stolen by curry too much on the fast break we gotta let c webb do what he does and he's just gonna jam that down right there we're going for another steal steph diving out of bounds getting it to ellis ellis probably could have took this three right here but no we want to get this man into the paint he wants shaq again he's gonna go up against him and it's not gonna go in this time shaq is gonna take the victory on that one and he's gonna score on the other side as well steph curry inbound of the ball now bringing it up court of course we're looking for monta ellis there he is he doesn't want the three he wants to come a bit closer he's getting doubled and he's still gonna knock it down he's still gonna knock it down the man is so consistent i love this guy i'm probably not gonna sell him I mean, I want to upgrade his position because he's only at 85 overall, but still, I absolutely love this card as Kevin Durant is going to have none of him coming into the lane this time. He's going to block that. Curry with the rebound. We're bringing it down court now. Ellis trying to get to the paint again. He's going to flip it up and lay it in amongst all the trees in there. He's only 6'3", but he can still get it done in the paint as Paul George is going to Euro step his way to the paint and lay it in. Eight to six now. We've got Ellis. He's looking, trying to flip it up and just off the front of the rim. No good. We are trying to exploit this man. We're trying to see how well he does in the paint. Shaq, of course, is always going to make it in the paint when that perk is active. We've got five seconds left. This time, it's Monta's chance to shine. Can he win the quarter force? The spin move. He's going to go back. The fade away at the buzzer. It's going to bank off the back of and go in. Monta Ellis absolutely amazing just an awesome player i mean i didn't have to have much play with him to know that this guy was absolutely fantastic he's probably a guy that i'm never going to get rid of now i'm gonna keep this guy and even if i upgrade his position i'm gonna keep him on my bench just to use him every now and again because he's absolutely 
amazing shooter. So guys, definitely if you have the coins and you want to try them out, go ahead and do it. This guy is absolutely fun to do uh, to play with and his fade away is absolutely amazing. So if you're playing with them, definitely try some fades. Fades from three, they are pretty consistent. They're pretty consistent, let me tell you that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this full review of Monta Ellis Throwback 2010 version. If you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, chats, you are awesome and I am Jay Diesel. See you guys.